Thirsty, thirsty, trying to choose. I mean, I know I'm critical. Watch where you go, say what you're told. Think that you know, say what you're shown. Okay, so I think today is going to be the day to where I'm going to go to the fountain pen store. I think I'm going to go to two fountain pen stores here in uh, Greece. One being in Athens, two miles away from my hotel, so about a 34 minute walk, depending on if I decide to walk. And then the other one's in, uh, I believe, Lyon. Lyon? 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 I'm sorry with how I said that. I'm sorry if I said it wrong. But yeah, so pretty much how the day is going to go. It's kind of like a vlog, short little entry into me trying out a vlog on this channel, with also including fountain pens in a discussion. Because, like I said, I want something to be diff. I want my channel to be different compared to all the other fountain pen channels out there. So, with that being said, this is the intro, me telling you guys what's going to be going on. Let me know what you guys think about this format and everything. But so far, I'm sitting in my hotel, about to go eat some breakfast with the family and everything, and then I guess I'm gonna look at uh, buying a Pelican M600. Maybe today, you know, really like the, the most I've ever spent on Fountain Pen was $200. And that was my um, Platinum 37 6th Century, the Burgonia. So we'll see how this goes. But um, I'm going to let you guys, I'm going to show you guys a view of uh, where I'm staying at in the balcony. So you guys see what's up. Okay, so today, like I said, I'm gonna be walking the streets of Athens with the fam. We'll see how it goes. Cause you know, I'm pretty sure people are gonna be giving me looks for, you know, walking with a camera, talking to a camera like this, vlogging, but you know, whatever. Cause if you're in this profession, this genre, trying to be a creator for YouTube, you know, for fountain pens or anything, or just vlogs or whatever you got going on, if you're afraid of what people are gonna say, then maybe this isn't for you, so. We'll see how this goes. We'll see what I think. So until then, we out. Okay, so there's the fountain pen store right there. Oh, well, I'm blocking myself out. There it is right there. As one of my subscribers suggested, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so like I promised you guys, finally made it into the store in Greece. This fountain pen and notebook store. It's the first thing I'm looking at is Pelicans. And honestly, these fountain pens are gorgeous. Just look yes. at that pen. Pelican really has outdone themselves. Statue of Zeus. Fountain pen dedicated to Zeus. If you guys don't know, Pelican is a German fountain pen company. So that's probably the one I'm going to get today. That red fountain pen right there. An M600 Pelican. As you go down, there's some 800 right there. Just look how gorgeous these fountains are. Even this one right here, just laying down in its felt. And the gold, if only I could get that one. A limited edition. Oh, no, no, no. I'm gonna go ask. I'm gonna ask him too. So then we have our Parker set right here. The Lamy section, German thumb pins. Trying to figure out then what speaks to your social. And do I need to be? I don't know if they even have Mickey and Minnie right there. <laughs> That's definitely a Delta, not a Lamy. I was about to say, I thought this was Lamy. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna pick up some inks while I'm here. Didn't think they would have noodle inks here. They have a definitely huge array of noodle inks. 
even the reverse fountain pens. And we come to the Japanese section, so they have some platinum, 37 6 centuries. They even have some of their inks, I think those are right. Some preppy pens. And down a little bit more to some more platinum pens. And then some sailor fountain pens. How many of you guys have a sailor fountain pen? I still need to get on that. Just look at the nib. This store also offers some books and stuff. Now, like I said, I'm probably going to be getting a uh, Pelican today, but we'll see how this goes. So guys, I need you guys to like, let me know like what you guys think of this video so far, what you think of this trip, what you think of me like showing you this fountain pen store, and I'm not done yet. I'm just getting started on showing you guys the fountain pen store, but with that being said, let's get to it. And this is the extra fun. There's a little difference. Mm -hmm. Now these inks. Wow, like there's inks in here, I don't even know what they are. Honestly. If you guys live in Greece or you're ever in Greece, or if you're, you're or if you're ever outside of Athens, because this is a suburb of Athens, it's in uh, Elion. Elion, I'm pretty sure is how you say it. And they just have marvelous, a marvelous selection of inks. Just look at this. Oxblood, Evergreen, Madagascar, Grape, Saddle Brown, Classic Red. Oh, and then look at this Parker collection. Just wow. Wow. And just honestly gorgeous. And don't forget to even have these, some troopers. Wow, I'm sorry guys, I'm like really giddy in a store right now. Just all these fountain pens. Wow, certificate. Number 27 out of 360. I already know that's definitely not my price point. Not my price range. So that's what I'm trying to decide now, how can I get the candle out of the box? I don't even know how to pronounce that, so I'm not even going to try. It's a limited edition 2006. One day, I'm gonna open up a fountain pen store. One day, they even have this this little artwork of nibs on the wall right there. Oh man, I wish I could have that and put that in my apartment somewhere. And then we have some uh, pilot section. The inks in the back. We'll start the B roll. And we have the. Just, just look at this artwork. It's gorgeous. And we have some Pilot Metropolitans. You know, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for this woman right here. Who was blessed me with the opportunity to come to this fine pen store. You carry these to church and you light them up, and then afterwards you hang them somewhere else. 
So you carry them with you to church yes. on Easter and you hang them up? Yes. Yes. All right, back to the regular program of found pins. Okay, now we're at the Twisby section. I don't have a Twisby yet. I promise I'm going to get one probably on the next paycheck. But for those of you guys who have Twisbys, let me know what you guys think of Twisbys. And if I should review any. If I should review any, which ones should I review? Okay, now obviously these are not Twisbys anymore. <laughs> Huh. I love Snow White. Hope all you guys love Snow White. I'm definitely a big fan of Disney. And we have some notebooks too. I'm telling you guys, the store has everything. I forgot the YouTuber's name who um, told me about this, but thank you. I will definitely look at your name whenever I get home before I post this video and shout you out. So here's some cross found pins. 1846 made in the USA. Just look at this color on these. And then even the nib. For the nib work. This is gorgeous. And then for all you guys who love Rodia paper, they have Rodia paper. If that is what you're looking for, they definitely have it here. All the different sizes you could want, the little notebooks. All of it. So I finally bought found them that I said I was gonna bring, or my bag that I was gonna buy. Look at that Twizzy art. So this is gonna conclude the fountain pen store. I don't even know how to pronounce the name, but it's gonna conclude the episode of this. Hope you guys liked it and enjoyed it. Look for the Pelican review, the M600 coming soon.